Hi, Shelly here. A friend of mine who volunteers at a local thrift shop saw the book I'm working on today and thought it would work great for me to repurpose. I think it's pretty cool and will make a great size journal for experimenting in. I've been wanting to do an assemblage piece for a while now, so I'm going to do that today on this cover. I hope you will enjoy this video and that will inspire you to break out your art supplies, go through your stash, and get creating. So let's get started. It's got a nice hard cover and this string holds it together. The pages are really nice and thick. So I went through and tore out a whole bunch of sheets. I need to go through probably and clean these up. So today I want to do my cover. So I'll probably gesso um, the front, the back, and these inside edges. This will be covered with paper. Maybe, maybe I'll gesso it too in case I want to paint the inside. I don't know. And then I will start probably gessoing just the first couple, few, first few pages because I'll have to do it and let it dry. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be a fun, a fun new small art journal. I've just got a bunch of old jewelry, different findings over the years. I like this bracelet, but I don't want this end piece on. All right, with all of our pieces. The bad part is I may decide I need more. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through. Oh, no, it's not dark enough. I'm gonna add a little bit of my dark gray into my navy, darken it up even more, much darker. And then I'm just going to go and paint everything. Now, if this was a really important, if I was doing this on a canvas, I might, I would probably coat everything in a primer outside, spray it all with a primer. But because this is just going to be something for my use. I'm just going to coat it with the paint and call it done. I want it to last, but I see this journal being kind of like a practice journal for me. I think I mentioned that before already. I still want it to be something I'll be proud of. Now sometimes you can leave the jewel, if you like the jewel, the look of the jewel, and you can wipe the paint off so that you can have that look. But for what I'm going for here today, I'm just going to completely cover them. I don't really want the sparkly look. I'm putting the paint on roughly because I want to make sure then I cover all the little, I'm kind of tapping it on to make sure I get all the spots covered. I'm not sure why I chose 22. <laughs> I just happen to have two different kinds of numbers. I am not a numerologist. Please do not think I am doing anything otherworldly with my numbers. I am not. I just like the look of numbers in my art. If I remember correctly, these were in the craft store. They might still have them. 
I think they were in Michael's or someplace years ago. I thought they were really cool. Still do. I get a real kick out of using stuff I already have rather than buying new whenever I can. I like to have new things too, but there's something about using something that I've got in my stash. It makes me just feel awesome. <laughs> Set those aside to dry for a few minutes while we do our leaves. And then I can give everything a second coat. It's time to start working on my cover. And so I went and looked in my stash and pulled out some tissue papers I thought would be kind of fun to put on the front. I don't know how much of, if any of this is going to be seen, but in my mind's eye, some of it's gonna be seen. <laughs> We'll see if it turns out that that's actually what happens. So a few of those leaves. And I really like this mandala for this. I think I should be using one of my brushes with some water. <laughs> to tear my edges, but I'm not really concerned about doing a great job, so we're just gonna wing it like this. Well, I have a new recording app because again, my the one that I was using before just kept giving me problems. So we're trying a new one. Hopefully this one is going to work properly um, and I will figure out how to do it. So last night, don't know what happened to the video, but uh, I did apply my tissue papers to the cover. And now I just want to go through really quick and trim my edges. All right, now I've got my modeling paste, my palette knife, and my stencil. And I'm just gonna go through and put a little bit of texture on. I'm not putting 100% all over, I'm just kind of Gonna hit and miss. Not too thick. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Once again, we have to wait for it to dry. I thought I was going to do everything in dark navy and then highlight it with the copper. But I did not like that after all, once I did it, I didn't like the color of my, I just didn't like how any of it turned out. Not that I don't mind the navy, but it's just not gonna work with, I've changed, I've decided on a different background now than I had before. And I got a few more items out. I am going to, I think, I wanna try this. I wanna try doing the darker orange all over and then putting the copper on top of that. I see it in my head. I always say, you know, in my mind's eye because I see it in my head one way and I think it's going to be really cool. And then sometimes 
it turns out to be just that cool or better than I had imagined, that's when it's really fun, is when it turns out to be better than I had imagined. And, but then sometimes it's just not what I was hoping for. It was just all right. Now we'll let these dry and come back, probably put another coat on here. In about an hour, we shall see. Got a little bit of overhang on my modeling paste. All right, I love how this is looking so far. Hopefully, that will continue. <laughs> I want to start off by putting out a little bit of my Caribbean blue my navy. Not too much. I went a little further with the Caribbean that I should have. And I'm going to get a little water. And I think want it to be too thick so that it's so we can see that background coming through I think that, I think I'm going to stop. I kind of dig that like it is. All right, so let's dry this. I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and, well, I've got these colors out, and I'm going to go ahead and paint the insides and the outsides with the same colors. I don't know if I'm going to put papers on the inside of my cover or not, or if I'm going to do it all paint. But I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm not going to be too careful about it. I just want to mix the colors. Thank you. 
Uh, I kind of like the gold and orangey look. I'm not sure what I want to do. If I want both, uh, a gold color and the copper, or what? So I think what I'm going to do is put a little of both out on my palette. And I don't know what I'm using. But I think I'm going to practice on a flower. And then, if I don't like it, we'll stop there. I don't know which one I want to do first. Let's try the copper on top of the orange. Oh yes, I like that. And then what if we put a little bit of gold? We'll see, do we like that better or do we like the copper by itself? closer to me here so I can see it. I don't know. I'm still... So I think what I'm going to go, go ahead and do is put the copper on and then we can always add the gold later. I think this guy needs its own sheet of wax paper. So learn from my mistake. Unless you're going to wad it up on something, don't wad it up to paint it. I just realized as I was looking at all of my findings over here that I did not put the, the copper on my, this biggest thing on my, you probably were looking at the camera going, oh brother, she's forgetting the biggest thing in front of her. Uh, but... So there you have it. So I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to do the, I'm also going to do the, come on, spit it out, Shelly. I'm also going to do the cord that holds the whole book together.
All right. I think we've got everything off of there. Now we need to figure out how we're going to lay everything out. Now I know I want this bracelet here. So this one is going to go here and then my big flower is going to go somewhere like this. And then this guy is going to go up here. I just love this background. <laughs> I'm just tickled by the way it turned out. I was worried. I really like it. I do like the way these bigger flowers turned out now. I was worried, but digging it. I don't know if I'm loving this though. down the middle there with that and it probably would be a disaster with this opening and shutting so it's probably not a good idea in hindsight well it's not hindsight yet because I haven't done anything but I think that's enough to go crazy with it all right let's these three here this guy is here so we know this guy for sure Put a little bit of hot glue down too to help it stick. And we'll have to touch up where the glue was and as we go and paint. Oh, I do. I like that together very well. Very much. All right, now how are we going to get this to stick on? I think we're going to have to run it right underneath and try not to glob it. I don't know. Maybe we're going to have to use a... <laughs> Since these beacon glues are about out, I think I'm going to go ahead and open another one and leave the point.
really small. too much. I think I've got to open that guy flat to hide all that muck at the end. That one got way too long. them off and we'll touch them up with some paint and no one will know no one will be the wiser except you of course <laughs> Tuck down. I love it. All right, now let's see if we have any spots we need to touch up. I know we do. Well, that's my cover and my new little journal. I love how it turned out and I'm super excited about getting to work in it in the future. I peeled off the spine and then just painted the signatures or whatever you call them. I think they're called signatures here in the back just to make it kind of go together. I think it turned out really cool. I've got some pages gessoed. Some need some work. Um, I've still got about probably half of the book to go, but I'll. this will get me started. Hey, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll join me in my next video. Bye for now.